here in West Wickham investigating into the history and mystery of a little known historical landmark, the West Wickham Caves, better known as the Hellfire Caves. The caves run a quarter of a mile into the ground. There are eight separate chambers which run consistently throughout the series of tunnels. The narrow passageways lead down to the inner temple, which is 300 feet beneath the hillside, and positioned directly underneath the church above. Bank hole, which is 140 metres in diameter and 130 metres from the surface, would have had a large wooden table placed in the centre for feasting. Around the edge of the banquet hall are cells. These are known as monk cells. They were used for club members to have, to have had private visits with women. So how did the caves get their name? Mainly because of a supposed connection with the infamous Hellfire Club, which was started by Sir Francis Dashwood. And when these caves were built, it was said that some, they had some of the meetings down here. Um, what the Hellfire Club was, it was just a, a meeting of uh, upper class people who got together and, you know, enjoyed wine, women and song, I think. So you know. the church, the mausoleum, are they actually connected to the Hellfire Caves at all? They said when he built the caves, um, he went underground with them and that was hell and heaven was up above where the church was, was built. Yeah. The 18th century church of St Lawrence and its golden ball is visible for miles around due to its hilltop location. The golden ball on top can seat up to eight people and gives a panoramic view of the area around the church. The Dashwood Mausoleum was built in 1765 at the top of West Wickham Hill. It looks out over High Wickham. The mausoleum houses the urns containing the ashes of the Dashwood family, most notorious of which, Sir Francis Dashwood himself. And also if you look out over the estate you can see the Dashwood Palladian Mansion which was built in the 18th century by Sir Francis Dashwood and I believe the Dashwood family still actually lived there. Tell us about the history of these caves. Partly at the time um, a lot of the locals were out of work. That. Uh, the crops had failed for a few years and uh, Sir Francis Dashwood had these caves built uh, mainly to provide employment for the local workers at the time. A lot of the chalk was used on the new road from High Wycombe to West Wycombe as well. That's primarily why, why it was used. So, how long have you been working in the Hellfire Caves? Uh, just over two years. Have you had any experiences with the, the paranormal activity that goes on in the caves? If you sit in the back of the cafe sometimes, you can hear footsteps on the gravel, although you know no one's there. Yeah. So that can quite scare you, because they don't come from anywhere in particular. Yeah. Um, one person got lost down the caves once, couldn't find their way out. Saw an elderly gentleman, thought, I'll follow him, he knows where he's going. Followed him up, the man turned left, he went to follow, and the man had walked into a solid brick wall. So a lot of people have had things like that popularity of paranormal investigations and particularly the programme Most Haunted on television which has um, led to a lot of this sort of thing. Um, people have been down there and claimed to have captured light anomalies on film and video. Also recorded strange disembodied voices on, on uh, digital recorders, uh, you know, captured voices that there's nobody about down there and claim to have seen shadows and all sorts of things. Um, whether this is true or not, I don't know. It's, it's like a lot of things, it's whether you believe it. Um, 
unless you actually see it for yourself, it's difficult to sort of take those things too seriously. Whether it's actually true, I don't know, you've just got to take people's word for it.